Hello everybody, welcome back, I'm Mr. Redclaw. Welcome back to an episode of World of Tanks. Uh, this one, I'm going to be playing the Tier 8 French Premium Medium Tank, the Barasque, uh, which I got from the Russian Marathons uh, about six months ago now. I'm not really sure when this came out. Uh, but actually, uh, it's becoming one of my uh, like most played tanks pretty quickly. Uh, probably one of my most played tanks. Uh, I, I average about like 2,000 damage a game over here, which is the, uh, about the same average damage that I have in the TS5. And of course, that has like 3,500 damage per minute. And this actually has a oh, stock uh, without any upgrades. And uh, you think it has 1,800. Uh, but that two clip, uh, 360 damage, uh, I'm pretty sure it's a one of, one of five. Yeah, it's a one of five millimeter calibre gun it's just the perfect size it's the perfect reload uh, to be able to go in do about uh seven seven hundred eight hundred ish damage how much is that going to be 330 what would that be that would be six uh 720 average damage so that can actually go up to like 800 if you roll it high so that's quite a lot of damage in just two seconds from the first shot and it of course reloads quite quickly those two shells around 20 seconds with a good crew and equipment and I do have a really good crew on this I've got about I'm pretty sure it's like five five crew five crew skills uh, and it's like my second best like uh, second best crew on any tank in the game after the EB on uh, EBR 75 which has like one skill more than this one uh, of course this gun might do quite a lot of damage doesn't have the best uh, penetration though 190 on the standard rounds which are actually APCR and the premium rounds are st uh, also APCR but do uh, well, they have 240 millimeters of penetration, so it is quite a lot more, and you can pr pr pretty much challenge most tier nines and some tier tens with that. Not really everything, but uh, quite a good chunk of them. Uh, so, of course, the aim time, of course, in this isn't the best to uh, without uh, any crew or anything. 3.36 uh, seconds, which is massive for a medium tank. Actually, that's how much I have on the IS-5 uh, that's how much uh, yeah that's how bad this aim time is on here 0 0.4 uh, 0 yeah 0 0.4 this Persian which yeah also isn't the best uh, it's probably I'm pretty sure that's like the worst on any tier 8 medium tank at this tier well, what's good about it? The shell velocity on the standard rounds, 1,000 on the premium rounds, 1,250. Potential damage of nearly 13,000, which is quite good. Uh, quite fast forwards, 62, 20, 3 backwards. Power to rate ratio of 25.77. Uh, good depression, 6 degrees, so that definitely isn't the best, but that's uh, pretty sure how much the Batchat 25T has as well, so... If you kind of played that, it's kind of, yeah, you get used to it. No armor to talk about, really. 40 at the uh, front of the hull, 20 at the side, 20 at the rear, 15 at the front of the turret, 10 at the side, and 10 at the rear. 1,250 health, which is on the low end of four tier 8 medium tanks. Uh, like the Panther 88 has 1,500, so does the, AM, no, the AMX CDC has 1,400. So does the Progetto uh, uh, 64. The Indian Panzer, I'm pretty sure, has 1,500 as well. So uh, you can definitely take, or you just take less damage in this before you go down. Uh, view range 390 base. I, c I actually got that up with uh, to 475. I'm pretty sure, and uh, that's with Brothers in Arms, coated optics. Uh, and those two crew skills, what are they called? A recon and situational awareness. Uh, so it's a really good, really, really good uh, view range. I, you, I just basically uh, spot for myself all the time. I don't really need to rely on anyone else. 
and the camera on this uh, stock uh, 19.27 whilst uh, stationary and 14.48 whilst moving so uh, I've got like a camera crew on this and of course a uh, camouflage and a brothers in arms of course that helps as well as uh, so that gets it up to around 35 I'm pretty sure so you're definitely quite good for a medium tank uh, compared to the AMX CDC it's nine, 19 night and day even uh, so yeah definitely a lot better than that tank that uh, AMX CDC definitely a lot worse camo than this I was really honestly ready to take a shot from the IS over here uh, but he just uh, rushes his shell and then I don't know tries to angle against me but the Scorpion G on my team takes him out now we've only got the Scorpion G left with me and the Losers M4A2, the tier 6, uh, uh, what do you call it, American medium tank, a premium one, one of many uh, tier 6 uh, premium, uh, it's basically all the, like, the M4 uh, variants, there's tons in the game. So now at this point I'm thinking, well I've done 2700 damage, 1000 spotting. I'm gonna slap the tiger two times over here, uh, up to 3,000 damage, probably 3,400 after that blind shot on the tiger one. So I was kind of uh, ready to kind of call it a game, uh, call it that, uh, maybe get uh, tiger two uh, up to tiger one because he's on a pretty sure 680 hit points or something like that. So I was ready to put two into him, maybe get around the. 80, 15 over here. Uh, but yeah, I was honestly kind of ready to kind of call this a defeat because uh, yeah, it was definitely quite difficult, especially on, uh, whilst my Scorpion G is on really low health. Luckily, I am still on full health because uh, the IS missed me and a couple of other tanks missed me as well, which definitely is going to help me massively over here. So I'm waiting over here. For the AT-15 to come out, there's the Tiger one, there's the AT-15. Now, get ready. Of course, I'm firing uh, premium APCR rounds at this point because I just wanted to do as most damage as possible because I'm doing the the Object 274A mission marathon right now. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, and I just want to I just wanted to do as much as possible. I'm pretty I'm, pre I'm already finished. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's stage seven. So I'm on track to getting it uh, in a couple of days time. Now over here, uh, try and put one at the front of the AT-15. Uh, he doesn't turn around in time, I shut him down. Now it's only the Scorp Scorpion G left and the Tiger 1, along with two tier 6 artillery, which I avoid one. Will I be able to avoid the other? Yes I am, there you go. Up to 4000 damage. Uh, still 1000 uh, spotting, but yeah, 4,000 damage in a tier 8 uh, medium tank, especially one that has 1,800 uh, damage per minute. It's definitely huge. Now that first shot was quite lucky that he actually went in because the Scorpion G was going quite fast. Uh, uh, but yeah, luckily we do manage to hit the first one and the second one. Now I'm just setting an ambush for the Tiger 1 over here. Now the artillery, I'm not really sure why they hit there. And maybe the Tiger one pinged that like he was getting spotted or something, but uh, yeah, I wasn't spotted, but the artillery hit me. But there you go, take the Tiger one out, and that's uh, basically uh, basically going to be hopefully it. I just need to avoid the artillery because, as I said, I don't have much armor left, and they could one shot me at this point, both of them. So one misses, and there you go, the other one misses as well, up to five thousand three hundred and seventy-three. Uh, damage six kills and if i if i'm going to take this down i'm going to match my best uh my best uh, what do you call it like uh max kills in a game kind of tally and the last one was in the 112 uh there's a video on this channel over there i could have got got nine if i didn't make a massive mistake and messed up the game but yeah sadly i did and i only got eight kills instead of nine well, my top damage is around 7,200 and the Akpad Z100. I actually recently got that because before, pretty sure it was in the Yak Tiger 
I had that for, I had that record for about a year, from the Ag Tiger, uh, which was like 6,500, I came so close to beating it so many times in all of my tier 10s, even uh, in the tier 9 batch I'm pretty sure, at one point, I just never got there, but I did about a month ago. In the Jagdpanzer E100, of course, a beast of a tank. Not the best, what, well, they're quite well armoured, but there is quite a couple uh, weak spots, of course. Now over here, slowing down, going bush from uh, bush to bush, uh, just hoping not to get spotted by the artillery before I spot them, uh, because, yeah, 500 uh, hit points, that's definitely going to be not enough to take a shot from the M44 and the AMX. Uh, even one of them could take me out if they do penetrate me. Because, uh, yeah, I do not have enough armor to even, to even like, uh, yeah, avoid like most HE damage. Like 40 at the front of the hull. Like some, some tanks maybe I'm going to be able, uh, able to avoid. So like some, some tier 6 and 7, maybe some tier 8 medium tanks, but, uh, when I play my EBR against the Barask, just load HE, go around, and you're gonna do like around 500, like six, 500 to 600 uh, damage every single clip, which is massive. So I didn't spot the artillery over there, so I thought, well, they must be heading to my cap circle to cap or set an ambush for me over there. So at this point, I was uh, kind of ready to uh, fire into these bushes in front of me, so I thought that one of them was going to be over there. I'm going down here, I can't see them, and I get spotted, quickly flick the wrist, somehow I honestly uh, didn't even realise that was actually that quick after just watching it right now, that was really a quick flick, first shell misses, the second one doesn't, and I am, uh, I loaded HE for that, but I didn't really need to because uh, I've got enough alpha damage to get them with my AP shows, but I'm going for the AMX over here slowly but surely. I actually detect him because of uh, uh, getting closer than 50 meters, but they go taking them, up, them out. Eight kills, absolutely brilliant game. Now let's check the results over here. As you can see, Ace Tanker, Scooch's Medal, Radley Walters, pat Patrol Duty, High Caliber, Tank Sniper, and a Top Gun. Uh, let's see, 6,600. 94 damage, 8 kills, 1925 base experience, that is absolutely huge, and that's not in, with, like, with like a double anything, that's just the base one, uh, as you can see over here, 26 shots fired, 23 hit, 22 penetrated, I actually got 100,000 uh, credits as uh, I'm running a premium account, and I'm pretty sure uh, there was some kind of mission over there uh, completed as well, as you can see, uh, total experience after like uh doing like the some kind of personal personal mission over there and a bonus for the premium vehicle account uh, pr the premium vehicle tier i actually get 14,729 experience and 144 uh, kind of free experience which is an absolutely huge game for the Bachatlion Borask uh, probably one of my favorite vehicles in the game probably the best medium tank that i own Maybe apart from the Batch at 25T. Uh, but yeah, that is going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, just subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.